okay so let's take a look at how you can connect google sheets to power bi so let's go to cloud version of power bi as you can see we don't have option to connect right so we'll try to see if it allows such service to connect considering this is external service should be there so we type in google uh, there doesn't seem to be an option here right so what we can do here is we'll try and get option to get the data for our power bi desktop so we'll open power bi and we'll be importing a particular table from google spreadsheet so let's see if we can use that tabular data right so for that we will just click on get data and now that window opens we can take a look at option like okay so we'll find out if there is option for google sheets so as you can see there is external connector google sheets this is not available in online option for cloud but from power bi desktop you can use this but for using this you will need to have some data in spreadsheet so i connected to google drive created new and then google sheets right let's see name this data as sales right and let me minimize let me cancel this for now and let's open sales.csv as you can see this is a good data to have you can get rid of these two columns right and clicking on delete should get rid of entire columns right as you can see some of the columns don't have much value for us so we can get rid of them click on delete entire column we got them removed so the columns that don't have any form of value we can remove them right so some are just there right so let's go with this data for now looks everything clean and neat select all copy and now let's go to our google spreadsheet paste it here let's see if it gets pasted right so as you can see it has managed to get all the data if you scroll all the thousand or so rows are there right now we can just save it last hit it was seconds ago now we have to find share option right so share click on share where is share share publish to web right entire document or specific sheet one you can have it as a web page or you can embed the entire document so you can choose between all of that choose web page if you want publish okay now we have our link copy this now go to power bi then get the data now click more then we have to wait for that dialog then click other then click on google sheets connect now here you see it is connecting to third party service continue and here we type in the url okay just paste the url that we just copied click ok let's see if it requires us to sign in right now as you can see we signed in and then click on this sheet and then it should show you this particular table that we have within google spreadsheet now you can transform the data 
if you want you can open power query editor edit the fields that you want or don't want and then simply use close and apply right then after this what you will notice that your data goes to this set of fields on the right 1001 rows are there there are also fields when you extract that you will have those columns here now if I choose to publish it to take it online I can use GS demo Google Sheet demo save it it will publish to the cloud so data grows to cloud as well right so let's hope it successfully takes the data to the cloud and after that we can process for the reporting through cloud if we want we can also do the same here but let's for the sake of simplicity we will take the data to our workspace right if it says success then everything turns out correctly right now we can click on got it right now I can go now here I'm going to check my workspace and here RS demo okay it is GS demo now I can simply go ahead and visualize the data by auto creating a report let's see what it shows me currently as you can see it doesn't properly give you the columns right because we don't have proper names right so make sure to first properly have that data so that it can later process it right and by some chance if you lost these column names due to power query editors changes you will have to work on that part right in my case that was the issue that caused this right so you get the idea how you can take your data from google sheets to power bi and then take it to power bi cloud and create auto create reports and process them Okay, there is one more way to get your Google Sheets data into Power BI Desktop. So for that, what we'll do for now, we will just come out of Power BI Desktop. Next thing, we can also remove this. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open my Google Spreadsheet, and here you can go to File, and then we'll try to export this right so we can download as csv file comma separated values right should give you cells sheet one csv right so considering the path is different for download here you can simply go to downloads and then open the and then simply paste it on desktop right and once it's there I can simply call for power bi desktop I can open this right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the data right now here we will have to check for CSV file right and then connect where you have to check for that csv file you just got right and you have your file now you can load if everything is correct you can go with that once taken all the rows will be loaded in memory and fields will be available on the right hand side one of the loaded queries contain errors okay viewers and we will find that out 
right on the right hand side you can also see all the columns if any specific error was there it would point out to you right so apart from that you can see the power query editor here you see the error was with these six issues right you can simply choose to delete them if you want right and coming back to here everything looks correct you can let them apply right now if everything is properly working out then you are good to go to publish this and process anything online on your power bi cloud or you can work with that data so you have two options with the power bi's and google spreadsheet basically use connector to connect to google spreadsheet using shared url and then process the data second method export your data from google spreadsheet in format excel book or csv file pdf or the other format supported by power bi and then process it as usual